In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your amp to get a great rock sound, so stay tuned. Hey there, this is James for the Ask James Guitar Show, and welcome to this episode where I'm gonna give you some of my tips for setting up an amp to get a good rock sound. Now, I don't consider myself a guitar amp guru or anything, and I'm not playing through the latest $5,000 amplifier, but the chances are that you probably aren't either. And this is the problem with a lot of information out there that tells us how to set up our gear and how to get a good sound is they're all using and talking about equipment which most normal guitar players simply can't afford. You can certainly get good results without having to spend a fortune on equipment and with a few simple guidelines which I'm going to show you now I'm hoping they will help you get some good results out of whatever gear you've got. Let's start by taking a look at how I set up my amp to get a basic sort of rock crunch rhythm sound, similar to the sort of thing you'd hear used by ACDC or Guns N' Roses. Now my amp has got three channels, it's got a clean, a crunch and a lead channel. Um, doesn't matter if you haven't got three channels, just set it to the distortion channel or the overdrive channel. I like to set my bass at around between two and three o'clock and my treble in a similar sort of area. So I mean use that as a rough guide and you might find you need to just adjust it a little bit either way. Now the mid control, I normally have my mid control at about 10 or 11 o'clock. So again, adjust that a little bit. Turning that round makes a big difference to the sound you get. So what I would probably suggest you do is set your bass and treble how you like them and then just sweep through your mid control until you find a point where you really like it. Again, we don't want too much distortion here. I would suggest you set your distortion or overdrive knob to about 12 or one o'clock for a simple crunch sound. If you want a bit more distortion, a bit more punch for our lead sound, I would often, I just simply turn up the gain a bit on my crunch sound. Often that will work really nicely. If I want a bit more of a sort of heavy metal type sound, you know, with quite a bit more distortion, on this particular amp, I mean, I'll set it to the lead channel here. And a lot of amps these days do have three channels. So there's quite a good chance that yours will. Um, then I'll just adjust the gain. Now, be aware of putting the gain all the way up. It'll often make it a bit fizzy and the notes will lose definition. So I find on this amp, setting it to about six or seven is normally a good point to have that knob. I like to leave the EQ the same. I find that this works well in lots of situations. It cuts through nicely and it just sounds good no matter whether I've got more of a crunch type sound or more of a metal type lead sound. So that's how I set my gear up. Now I realize there's all sorts of different pedals and all sorts of different ways you can do it, but I was just asked for a simple explanation by some people, so that's what I've given you. I just think by tweaking the EQ on the amp and the gain on the amp, as well as using different pickups on the guitar, you can get a lot of good usable sounds without having to go overboard in terms of pedals and effects and all that kind of thing. Now these are just guidelines, so take what I've given you and then tweak it until it just fits the sort of sound that you hear in your head the way you want to sound. If you found this video useful, please like it and please subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. There's loads of licks and solos and technique stuff all on my channel there, which will find will help you become a better guitar player. So thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you again soon. Take care and bye for now.